All right. The way we check for optimality or if we have an optimal uh, extreme point is by the net evaluation row. Um, the net evaluation row, the area underneath the variables, are called shadow prices. In other words, how much money, more money can we make by producing one more X1 or one more X2 or even for that matter, if we could use one unit of slack. Um, uh, so those are showing, since they're positive, uh, we can see that, you know, we can make more money by producing more units. Um, so that's the way we check for optimal. So if it's a maximization problem like this is, it's optimal if all the variables are less than zero. In other words, it's optimal maximization of profit occurs when we can't squeak any more money out of any one of the variables. So they all have to be less than zero. It's the opposite, opposite if we're trying to minimize cost. It's optimal if all the variables are greater than zero. zero. In other words, we can't uh, squeak any more cost out of any one of the variables. But again, this is a max problem and we're for an optimal solution, all the variables have to be less than zero. Our variables are greater than zero, uh, so we do not have an optimal solution. Remember, the M stands for a very large number. Think of it as million. So, for example, for the X1 variable, that's a positive 2 million and 40. So that's way positive there. Okay, have fun.